my name is Karina and I typically make videos about SLPA life, but I'm also a mom, so I'm here to share my mom life as well. So I'm here talking to you all about the silicone bibs or the cloth bibs, which one's gonna win. Personally, I like the silicone bibs and I will explain everything as to why in this video, but I still have lots and lots and lots of cloth bibs for my baby. So I say cloth, I mean, but it, we could call it cotton, we could say cloth, we could, you get it, it's like fabric right it's not it's typically a lot thicker than the silicone bibs um these i kind of recently started seeing but also i just recently became a mom so i don't know when they actually came out in stores or when it became popular all i know is i did see shay mitchell she was the very first person i saw um with the silicone bib and that kind of <laughs> influenced me to buy one but they come in handy they really do first thing we all want to know is the pricing right um i think the silicone is definitely pricier i just checked on amazon and for one of these through the brand mushy they sell it for 12 or 13 dollars. i think it's 12.99 and now the cloth ones you can typically buy like in bundles and packs they don't just come with one and these it just varies. I saw on Amazon 10 for about $20. And then I also saw like five for 20. So it, it just varies, you know, it just depends, but they're very much cheaper than the silicone ones. Um, if it's not mushy, I also saw on Amazon other brands and they were like two for 17, I believe 16.99 something like that you know these are just a little bit more expensive now that we're done talking about the price we can talk about its function right so the silicone bibs typically have this little scoop on the bottom like these are the ones i'm talking about these come in handy big time because these are going to take all of your baby your infant the toddler all their food that they're missing when they're grabbing and trying to put into their mouth whether it's with their hand or with their spoon we know they miss so if they don't have this here. It just spills completely onto their lap and onto the floor, making it a bigger mess for you to pick up, right? So I'm still having to clean up after my son, who's a year old. I'm still having to pick up after him, but a lot of the food is caught in this little fold here, which is a really smart idea. Versus the cloth one, now we really just use these if we're at a restaurant and he needs to not stain his clothes, then we use these. This is not really like a functional bib anymore now that he's one and making a mess consistently trying to get as much food in his mouth he's quick to grab things and stuff this isn't that helpful other than like i said not staining his clothes if he's wearing a white shirt or gray shirt some light color clothes and we don't want him to get completely dirty with the juice whatever he's having for lunch dinner then this is going to do its job but <laughs> this is still not what i prefer i still reach for the silicone bib a lot a lot more these are just easier to carry with you you know they don't take up as much space see if i fold it it's still relatively thin and i can put it anywhere versus these they're a lot bigger and because of this even if i fold it like it's just thicker than when i fold the cloth one I do also like that the silicone bibs are a lot more customizable. I say that just because as your toddler is growing, your baby's growing, right? They have this little thing here for you to move. If you have a screaming toddler and they don't like how tight it is on their neck, this comes in handy. If you have a bigger toddler, they need more space to eat or it just doesn't fit around their neck. <laughs> this comes in handy versus this one. I haven't, I have seen some cloths that come with like multiple buttons, but a lot of them typically just have one. I don't see that it's like super customizable like the silicone bibs are. Typically all the silicone bibs are like this, at least the ones we have. Now let's get into durability, the cuteness of it. This one, I mean, looking at it, you don't think it's very cute, right? Because the cloth ones have a lot more character to them. They have Disney, they have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, everything. I, we have so many more of these. We have Dallas Cowboys, we have this Longhorns one. Versus this one, we only have like a handful of them. I think we have five silicone bibs. But again, because they're pricier and they do the job, I'm not finding that I have to use a lot more of these. Also, when I was pregnant, I was so excited to have so many bibs. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna match with all his clothes. He's gonna have one for every outfit. When he's eating, he's gonna wear different ones. He's never gonna have to wear the same one. But girl, I have not used all of them. I don't think so. I have so many for my son um, that they're just 
quick tosses and they easily go into the washer literally every time that he stains one of these they go into the washer i wash them and then when they come out they've gotten smaller these why i have five is because these i'm not having to throw into the washer right i'm just rinsing this with all of his other dishes i'm washing it making sure it's not super greasy and just like that it's reusable these i mean you go through these a lot faster he still uses the silicone bibs today at one year old and he still uses the cloth bib like i said if we're out at a restaurant and i need to pack something real fast or if we're going somewhere and i need to pack something for him when he's eating then i'm reaching for the cloth bib if we're at home and i know he's in his high chair or going to stand on his little tower and be eating. He's likely gonna be using a silicone bib, again, to catch all of the clothes, making it <laughs> easier for me. I wanna say we used these cloth ones for a solid six months. When he first started eating solids around four months, maybe at four months, this is what we would reach for. But again, at that time, he wasn't making a huge mess. He was learning how to chew with his gums, you know, with very little teeth. He was learning how to grab the foods. It was more so at that time about texture. It wasn't really like fully eating foods and making a mess. Now that he's gotten the hang of it, he knows how to eat foods, he eats a lot of solids, now is when he's making the mess. I very much prefer the silicone bib, but as I'm telling you guys and sharing over and over, I have both. Um, it's completely up to you, you know, which one you wanna use. I'm just here to share some facts and my experiences. You absolutely do not need both. You absolutely do not need more than like 10 of these. You just don't. But I understand the excitement and stuff around having a baby. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. And if you liked it, please make sure to give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. It'll mean so, so much to me. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.